this is a way of reintroducing Aboriginal culture into the community and society so people can reflect but learn as well um, you know the strong values and the key values of, of Aboriginal culture. The artwork that we're unveiling today is a public statement celebrating 60,000 years of Aboriginal history and the uh, recent 250 years bringing two communities together in a spirit of reconciliation. There will be much joy shared in this place because of that connection. Justin Martin is an amazing young artist that I've known since he was very young. He does beautiful work which invokes country and invites community to uh, enjoy country. My artistic career started when I was a young boy, I suppose, um, reflecting on the time that I spent with my grandmother, watching her and learning of her traditional arts and storytelling. When I take on new projects, I really assess how to represent the, the landscape or the particular theme of that project and also giving it a traditional artistic style. What I mean my artwork is traditionally influenced. I look at some of the older ways on how you know some of the men, women used to decorate themselves and decorate um, particular type of artifacts, shields, used to decorate themselves during song and dance ceremony, the beautiful head crests, the colours they use, they're all my influence. You look at a new estate like Alara, you think, you know, how are we going to introduce culture into this place in a, in, you know, in a public arts form? And um, the first thing I thought of was wood burning. Wood burning used to um, be very much a part of um, many tribes nationwide in the Nyunga culture. We used to burn the end of our spears or our, um, our urals, our bowls. These burn marks will identify a particular country in which that person or individual comes from. It was traditionally influenced, done with perfect scaled line work and it gives that thought to people, you know, well, why is this artwork, you know, what, how come it's burnt like that? What does that mean? Did Aboriginal people used to burn artifacts like that? The handprint is, is the rebirth of culture into a place in an area. It's done in a, in a red pigment to represent the people and where we come from, you know, we, we're the people of the earth. The circles are a representation of the sand dunes around Alara and what the state actually used to look like um, prior to their state itself. These dunes, are, they're moving dunes over time. You know, the, the climate and the, the weather actually shifts them and move them, so that's what the, the the pattern in the, in the centre of the actual circle is. And the line work is of the four tribes which, which occupied the Perth area. With the burning, I think it's going to give that life back into, into Alara. It's going to you know, give that birth of culture back into Alara. If my artwork can engage with people and get them to explore and, and research and find out more about Alara um, in general, I think my artwork is, is doing its job. Mm -hmm.